This brand of mini pepperoni is made entirely of pork. It comes in a variety of flavors, each made with different seasonings. First, they prepare the raw meat. They combine different cuts in specific proportions to attain their target meat to fat ratio. The meat comes from the pig's back, shoulder, and belly. The butcher loads the pork into an automated grinder. It grinds the pork until it's the right texture for mini pepperoni. They load the ground pork into a mixer and pour in some lactic acid bacterial culture, which will kickstart fermentation later. Next, they add the seasoning mix and a pre-measured amount of concentrated liquid paprika. They continue mixing for a couple of minutes, distributing the ingredients evenly. Then they transfer the ground pork from the mixer to a meat buggy. They roll the meat buggy over to the filling machine and empty the contents. A worker loads a tube of sausage casing. The filling machine pumps out 1.6 ounces of ground pork, then twists the casing between each one to form a link. The machine feeds 25 link chains onto a hanging line. Next, they ferment, smoke, and dry the meat. Workers hang three dozen 25 link chains on each smokehouse rack. Then they roll the rack into the smokehouse. First, they humidify and heat the links to approximately 77 degrees, triggering fermentation. The lactic acid bacterial culture starts feeding on the dextrose in the seasoning. The process increases the acidity in the meat, preventing harmful bacteria from growing. It also produces a fermented flavor. After about 14 hours, they lower the temperature and humidity to halt fermentation. Next, they start up the smoke generator, which they've loaded with maple and beechwood chips. They run several smoking cycles until the links change color and acquire a slightly sweet and smoky taste. Then they raise the heat again to cook the meat thoroughly. Finally, they dry the links in a temperature and humidity controlled room for a couple of days.